Okay, hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to Anime Chan. Today I'm going to react to Attack on Titan Season 4 Episode 7, I think. The episode is called Assault. And before we get started, there is one thing that you need to know about my channel. If you're new, uh, I do talk a lot. I do pause in between the episode uh, if I need to express my emotions, whether that is anger, sadness, whatever, um, all of the above. <laughs> so yeah, I do talk a lot. If you don't like that in videos, then well, this is not the channel for you. There are many other channels that do reactions only, but I do share my thoughts in between. And I also make review videos, but that will be posted separately. So if you want the review, you can find the link to that in the description or the pinned comment. And then before we get started with the episode, I briefly want to just point out something that I saw in the in last week's reaction in the comment section. This was very, very prevalent. And the worst ones were deleted. So the ones I'm going to show you now are just ones that were actually... Um, approved like lighter ones that my mods were like oh well I, I guess I could approve this but um so it's not even the worst ones but he, this is what I mean someone commented they decided it when they became so incredibly racist they would gladly eradicate everyone on Paradi Island men women and children alike smiley face fuck Marley and anyone on that continent the world is a better place if every one of them die and I just replied, you sound exactly like people from Marley talking about Eldians, and I can only laugh how that irony is lost on you. And I would like to think that the person is just trolling, because I feel like no one can be that stupid. No one can type that out. Take the time to type it out and read it back to themselves before they press send. I don't know if other people do that. And not realize that you th that's the whole problem you don't see that's how marlians think about the people from parody and the difference is that the people from parody they can actually turn into terrifying man-eating monsters um but yeah it's fine to think that about people from marley because they did it first right well actually they didn't the reason that they hate people from Paradis is because people from Paradis did it first. <laughs> because, you know, the history um, that, well, at least the history that we know. The point is, whether or not it's true, whoever did it first doesn't matter. It's wrong. It's wrong to judge a whole group of people based on what a few do. But okay, that um, irony seems to be lost on many people. Uh, that's, uh, that's not a troll comment because... There are, were hundreds of comments like this. Here are some others with my responses. Aaron became the bad guy, but in my opinion, they did the same thing to him. They had it coming. The civilians had it coming. Lol. Well, I guess then Aaron's mom had it coming too, because Eldians of the past used to oppress Marlians. Another one, Chad Aaron Greatness, all caps. Let's go! Clap, goat emoji, 100 emoji, fire emoji. And then I replied, all caps, Yas King, kill those innocent people, woohoo, just like your mom got killed. Slay, sachet. Uh, Tehuti. <laughs> this one is, I kind of get this one at first, but then they kind of. Okay. Fuck it, I'm choosing a side. Paradi Island for the win. I can't... This is the part I don't understand. I can't get over how Reiner killed Marco. And I said, you mean how he killed him with painful regret because he thought he had no choice? Just like Aaron killed many innocent men, women and children in this episode. I mean, how many Marcos had to die? How many Marcos did Aaron kill? But... Okay. I... I I totally get it. if you want to choose a side, like, it's fine, but you're choosing a side because you can't get over how Reiner killed Marco? Interesting. Uh, this person, 
maybe a horrible lesson, but if you are going to do a repeat of the first episode, learn from the mistakes they made. You need to kill them all. Burn the place down, then make sure you kill them all, or history will just repeat. Like, what the fuck? And then I said, and this was just me being sarcastic, trying to get them to realize, you know, what the hell they're saying. I said, yeah, damn, if only Reiner succeeded in killing everyone within the walls, none of this would be happening. But I mean, I think that's what they think. They, they're they just like, I don't give a fuck. Just do your job right. Kill everyone and make sure it doesn't happen again. You don't understand. It will always happen again. It will always happen again because people are different. People are going to divide themselves. They're going to go off into two groups, three groups, four groups. If it's not by your co the color of their skin, it'll be their religion or their sexuality or their gender. But people will divide themselves. And then if you're just going to be like, well, the one side just needs to fucking kill the other side because then everyone will be happy and no one will fight. That doesn't solve any problems. That just results in eventually everyone on earth dying. I guess that's what some people want. I don't know. As long as it's not them dying, I guess they don't care. Phew, but honestly, this, the, the comments like that, all oh, they blew my mind. They blew my mind. Especially, you know, people, people like the first comment. Fuck Marley and anyone on that continent. The world is a better place if every one of them die. But okay, if that's what you think. I mean, at least this is fiction. Let's go. Let's watch this episode. Uh, oh my god, Levi versus Beast Titan take two. That was, if, if we get that, I might just, I don't know. It is Levi versus Beast Titan <gasps> round two. Wait, let me just season four, episode seven. I just want to make my notes page here and get it ready. And then uh, let me just, I just want to turn off this light and close my door. Whew. Okay, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. And by, I have to just say, by good, I mean it's exciting because it's action and I love action shows. By, because I like, you know, 1v1s. I watch so much Shonen, it's like part of my favorite, it's one of my favorite things about Shonen is these 1v1 fights. For many reasons, action, excitement, uh, the visuals, animation, you know. Um, I don't mean, oh yeah, let's see people die. I don't mean that, I just... Because Levi vs. the Beast Titan last time, the visuals, the expression on Levi's face, the voice acting was just so great. And from a viewer's perspective, I'm very excited to see if they're going to... I mean, this is a new uh, studio, so how are they going to approach this? And yada yada, so I'm very excited for that. Oh, they survived!
How can her eyes still move? I don't get that. There was people that asked me last time whether or not I think they survived and I did say that most likely they would because why I mean I know it's Attack on Titan and people die all the time but he's this kid is in the freaking opening or ending huh, he was in the trailer I just didn't see him dying so bluntly and nothing I s there's more potential for his character <laughs> Maybe it's not, they say his body should heal. What if it's not his body? What if it's his mind? What if it's his, his soul? That's just, never. The will to love. I don't think he does. Fukuchou,助けを呼んできます。他にも、みんな、あなたの味方ですから。フランス兄と同じ水晶体。やはりこいつには歯が立たねえか。お前の手札は残っていない。俺はまだだけどな。くそ。この野郎。まだ力を残してやがったか。必要はないよ。今この戦場を支配しているのは私たち。<笑> That is the creepiest voice. I just uh Hanakara Tekiwa Oits Merate. Tekiwa Rita Kido de Norikon de Kita Wakeda Kara. Buki mo nengyo mu tai shita buts yo janari. Zumari hokyu sen no nai tekichi no doman naka de fukuro no nezumi na wake. Tomosomo paradito se yok soreji taiwa. Mare aite ni matomoni senso de kiru tai yok wa na in dayo. だから、その巨人さえ押さえちまえば、奴らは地鳴らしの切り札を失うって話だろ。今その切り札が目の前にあるんだぞ。レヴァイ。時間がないんだろ。ニュースよ。大丈夫なのか。気が。ありません。ならば急いでここから離れろ。手にやられた。エレン。ゲーガーに。おい、そこの下線危ないぞ。この艦隊が見えないのか。おい。Is that Armin? Holy shit, I've been looking for this boy for like ever and okay not forever but for a long time. I'm like, is he is that Armin? Is that Armin? Is that Armin? Is that Armin a hundred times and every time it's no 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 is this Armin? Or is this another blonde? <gasps> oh Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, he's gone die.
She's so pretty. Not what I should be looking at. That got ugly fast. But I mean, this is war. I honestly. Gear used by apparently island forces which utilizes compressed gas and wire, special swords, some sort of. I can't even focus on reading now. Oh, but but Marco this is fine because Marco also died like I don't get how people don't see that it's so much bigger than that it's so much bigger than seeing one person die that one time like that makes all of this okay because they did it you do you I feel like I want to say you're missing the point but I don't think that that's gonna reach anyone But holy fuck. I, I have no other words. I have to say that the only thing the only thing that helps me or doesn't help me with the only thing I can't wrap my head around yet is that was this Oh, was it their plan? I don't think so. Based on the last episode and some interaction between Eren and Mikasal, it seemed like this was Eren going rogue. Eren uh, making his own plans and, and kind of telling them where to be, when, and then show up or don't show up. And then he went off and did his thing without anyone. I feel like Armin could have made a better plan than this. I feel like if this was an... an if one side declared war and the other, and the other side... And they met on the battlefield... I feel like, yes, people would still have died, but then it would be people taking part in the war. Not innocent children. Many Marcos. You know what I'm saying? So, I just feel like if Aaron had just had some patience. I don't know. I haven't... We haven't seen. I haven't seen. So, I can't... I, I don't know if I'll feel differently if I see more about what happened in those years we didn't see them. Why did he suddenly just pop up here and then do all of this? Without, based on what Mikasa said to him when she arrived, they weren't on board with this. This wasn't part of their plan. So why did he end up doing that? I don't know. It just pisses me off that he did because I don't think it was necessary. If if they, like, like I said before, all he did was prove Tiber right. If they could, the one side did declare war, yes. But couldn't they just... Because the thing is, the one side did make a... Some people on this side did make a terrible decision and send freaking kids to go kill the demons on Paradis. And then they killed innocent people and that was bad. But the innocent people here had nothing to do with those innocent people dying. Why did they have to be... Why do all Marlians and even Eldians living in Marley that have nothing to do with this war, they're just being fed these lies about who these people are, why should they pay for the mistakes of the people in the military that, that decided that innocent people here should die? We know that in, the, the innocent people here dying was not a good thing. So why do the same thing? Because these innocent people are not responsible for those innocent people dying. So why do the same thing? Because then all you're doing is that you make what they did okay the first time. Because they only justified that... They only justified killing those innocent people and killing everyone on Paradis because of what Eldians did in the past. 
which is also kill innocent people and force people, force women to bear their children and, and whatever, whatever, all the things they did. So now you're just perpetuating this whole fucking cycle? That is the whole... And, and then my, my, what I can't wrap my head around is, was it Aaron? Was, did all this come down to freaking Aaron? Because the problem is, he put them in such a difficult situation because he was like, it seems, based on Mikasa's reaction in the last episode, it seems like he was like, I should stop saying like so many times. I'm going to do this, show up or don't. This is my plan. Go with it. And then he fucking blasted through everyone. And now this whole war was set into motion because of that. Did they... Because they couldn't not go. Well, they could. They couldn't not go. But then they'd lose the founding titan. So he made it very difficult for them too. They had a choice. They could have just left him to be eaten. But then they lose all of their leverage. Then they lose the war essentially but not necessarily so they also went with him which is also wrong at least uh, you can see tell from the way jo john spoke to what's his name the annoying redhead flock you can tell that john that they, they wanted to minimize casualties at the very least but Clearly, that's not everyone's prerogative. Did you subconsciously... ライナーはどこにいるの? だよ、おにゃんこぽん。任せてください。ハンさん。おめえ、あんこぽん。全速低空で収容区に侵入。光の道に沿ってみんなを回収する。たく無茶を思いつくよ。エルヴィンの亡霊にでも取り憑かれた
Don't tell me this was your plan A. There was nothing else? You couldn't think of one other thing? You couldn't... I don't know. Snipe Tiber. And other officials. Why, why, why th all of this? Holy shit. So he's going to get that power too. Oof. You can't just eat him out of the neck. Here it comes. That was very much like... Remember when... Remember when... Um, Erwin was about to die and Levi had to make that choice. And in that moment, well, when he made the choice, I understand it. I, under, I understood that why he wanted to let Edwin just rest in peace there, you know. But back, back then he had the choice between Armin or Edwin. Um, here they have, who do they have to call for? He didn't have to help them now. Because this this is now is too late. Now is war. They brought the war. Ideally, you would fight on a battlefield. No civilians around. But they brought the war to them. Just like before they okay. Let me put it this way, okay. The people from Paradi brought the war to Marley itself innocent people and all because they justified it since well Marley's military brought the war to them and all their innocent people before and and the Marleyans justified that by saying well the the uh, Eldians did this and this and this to us before so, and so it just continues and continues and continues until everyone dies but the thing is, no, no one side is 100% gonna kill the other side. Unless you fucking nuke them. And even then, it's not guaranteed. And, and that's why, I believe... Because then you have a couple of people that survive and then they harbor that because they did something like nuking the one side. They did something so horrible. Those people carry that hate forever and then that hate builds up and builds up and builds up. Could be over generations. And then the same thing, the oppressed becomes the oppressors. And then the same cycle just repeats and repeats. And that's why I believe that 
there should just not everything what the, what's that saying all is fair in love and war no it shouldn't be that way if people break i don't know what are those there should be war rules like if you're if it's like boxing you know there's two people fighting but they have to and the winner there it's violence but there's rules and they have to abide by the rules and if they don't then they get disqualified or whatever and i know that the, <laughs> war is not boxing i know that but i believe that as humans as creatures with intellect if we have to resort to violence we should at least adhere to some rules because because why well it would be nice um if their side didn't kill our innocent people so we shouldn't kill their innocent people and of course in a war probably there will be bad guys that go and do that anyway many of them justifying it by saying well their side did it first but it doesn't matter who does it first people who break war rules should be held accountable so severely that well, not so severely, but people should be held accountable so that they don't think to do it again. I know it's not easy because you you think if you win, it'll all be fine. But the world will remember. And then that cycle will just repeat itself because people will do the same thing to you because they'll justify and say you did it to them or you did it to others. You know, people are already terrible enough. Don't give them more reason to be terrible to you. And I think, I just feel like history has shown this. So anyone that's, that excuses it, I'm just, I just like, let me just listen to the song and then I'm not meant to watch the preview. So maybe I should just end it here. But I really like the ending song. So. Okay, I was told by Mod not to watch the preview, so I won't, even though I really like watching it, but it's fine, I won't this time. Um, and then I will do a review, which will be posted in a separate video, the link should be in the description. Uh, and I will score the episode, talk about what I liked, what I disliked, and maybe um, predictions or something. Cool. Remember to leave a like, leave a dislike, <laughs> share the video, share your comments. Although the comments are pre approved, so mods read through them first. The mods are up to date on the manga so that they will make sure if they see you hinting um, or spoiling at all or being rude. Uh, please keep it civil, you know. <laughs> They will delete stuff like that and in, in worst case cases they will block people like that um yeah okay thank you guys for watching with me i'll see you in the review bye